and we are back for three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Not three billboards outside no. Wyoming. Yeah, I don't, I don't three know. Three billboards I, of Wyoming. Like or just thought. three billboards. It's a great name, but I realize it's very long and I actually forgot it. Call out to uh, Rachel, who probably actually been there. From Missouri. Probably tell us exactly where Ebbing is. Yep. Bring us back to those locations. Good old Missouri. Anyway, so this is directed by Martin McDonough. Yeah. Seven like, Psychopaths in Bruges. 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 I still haven't seen it yet. Seven Psychopaths, amazing. But anyways, let's talk about this thing. So it has a crazy cast. Sam Rockwell's back. Francis McDormand. Yes. Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Abby Cornish. Mm -hmm. Tons of other people. Oh, and then like Peter Dinklage. Who's John Hawks? I don't know. Winter's Bone. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Anyways. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Anyways, I look forward to it. When the first trailer came out, and I was like, oh my goodness, it's directed by the same guy. I was like, okay, I'm so down. And I was just bummed, like, how long it took. I think, like, this movie was done a while. Because, like, the trailer came out a while ago. And so. Martin McDonough is, like, he has a quiet directing style. Mm -hmm. But, like you're saying, it's his writing that you yeah. notice, the dialogue. So, like, it's just, even the trailers, I could just watch it over again. It's just, Scenes and all three of his movies now are dark comedies. Yes. So I think this one is probably the most light. Yeah. Probably. Well, I don't know. Seven don't know. Psychopaths is pretty light. Really? Well, yeah, it's about a guy who gets his dog kidnapped. Oh, wait, actually. Okay, I, I guess so. So it's like it's very more comedy than I'm dark. I'm actually interested to see how dark they're going to go That's in true. this movie. Because it is a uh, murder. Right? And the mom seeking justice. So, like. Well, she pokes a hole in the dentist, right? Somehow, throughout okay. how. But, but anyways, Peter Dinklage is in it. It's John Hawks. I don't know who John Hawks. No, whatever. I look forward to this because I don't know. I just love the vibe and like how it's like like a strong female character. It's just like in your face, and she like I love how she's like who's who threw that, and she kicks the kid in the balls, and then she kicks the girl in the crotch, and it's just like. That's, I'm not taking yeah. any names. Well, I haven't seen Francis McDormand in a big role since, like, Olive Kittredge or Fargo, so it's right. nice to see her get, like, a big clum role. That's true. Yeah, it's always nice to see people that are mostly supporting cast who Hard working, have a supporting main lead. characters finally yeah. getting juicy lead roles. Yeah, and, and I think this is, like, totally for her. Like, she yeah. encompasses the whole attitude and the vibe, and, like, she's just. Like, I just like watching her do what, like seriously, I swear, all the trailers, all the scenes that I've seen online, I just love everyone. There's never been one where it's like, where is this going? Why is this boring? Like Sam Rockwell, awesome, great stuff. Always good. And, and yeah, Woody Harrelson, like awesome. Like it's not something new from Woody Harrelson, but I still get yeah, enjoying the scenes. I'm interested to see how much this movie might actually be in the awards conversation. Oh yes. Because I have a feeling, like at least for writing, yeah, um, maybe a couple acting nods. We'll see. Hopefully, I mean, is there a limit for acting? I always forget. I mean, uh, Best Picture is ten. Yeah, supporting five. Is five so. so maybe, hopefully, let's get less of those really random, not deserving ones. At least Meryl Streep's not in it this year. <laughs> yeah, that's, so true. that's always a plus. But anyways, I look forward to it, and yeah, I'm so hyped. I mean, people told me that it's great, there's nothing like lost, there's no downtime, or like there's no boring or needless scenes, but everything's just great. Thankfully it has a great title as opposed oh, no. to just being called like Redemption. Or Billboards. Or Billboards. <laughs> or Ebbing. Or Missouri. Yeah. Gotta like, keep the tradition of long titles alive. Yeah, I know. But then, then you have Japan who overdoes it. It's hilarious. <laughs> I should send you some. It's, Atrocious. But anyways, looking forward to this. Can't wait. So this is the before and this is after. Wow. What what a movie. Just complex characters, great writing, great storytelling. Good drama. Good drama, good comedy, pretty dark. Very British, like you were saying. Yeah, it's a very British North American produced film. Yeah, we had a lot of old folks in our audience. We <laughs> did. Pretty, yeah. I was sort of surprised why they're even here, but okay. yeah. but yeah, like exceptional cast. I mean, the main leads was great. Francis I mean, McDormand, like, I'm telling you, dude, give songs. her a lead role and she'll just run away with it. Yeah, like just 
just the emotions, like it just felt so real. Like sure, like if you just watch the trailers and the scenes, it feels very far fetched and just like over the top. Like dark there's way more in it than I thought. Yeah. from the trailer. Yeah, so look forward to that. I mean, it's just, yeah, all these characters were written in a way and just portrayed in a way and acted well to the point where you feel like these are real characters yeah, and feel real. the narrative arcs that they go through is very natural. Like, it, I feel like if it was done by anyone else it would have just felt like oh that was out of character or like it doesn't make sense why would he do this but rather everything that happened was just like there's a lot of shock value happening but it's just like you you, you understand that these characters are really complex and it's just crazy how when we first introduced them we just felt that they were very like archetype of like thing of people that we've seen before and we like okay we totally can guess what's gonna happen in this movie but no a lot of like curveballs yeah. in terms of like growth. Well, Sam Rockwell's character arc, I I would have thought I could have guessed the way it was yeah. going, but it was, you know, they yeah. do some, they twist it a little yeah. bit. Because I mean, nice. yeah, like his was very typical, like the racist. Yeah, super, the racist kind of yeah. dumb cop. Like he's not dumb, but he's a little bit, you know, backwards in his thinking. And, yeah, and yeah. he's very gung-ho and yeah. sort of idealistic in his own little ways. Yeah. And then you would think that, yep, this is what he's going to go down in his arc, but nope. Everybody pretty much was very atypical. I mean, Woody Harrelson's arc, like when they introduced his uh, health concerns, yes. I thought that would have been a thing where they played with the whole movie. I mean, it became more like a, just a comedy as in like, yeah, she's screwing a guy over that's about to die. Like why? And then just make fun of that. But rather it was an actual plot device and used well, and then they expanded and built off yeah. it. There's a lot of the human element element in the movie, like oh, yeah. a lot of human emotion. Oh yeah. And uh, a lot of the scenes are like he like McDonough handles a lot of the emotional scenes, um, like with like with Harrelson and his daughters, mm. uh, or between the mom and the son in the car when they're having a conversation right, right. about what's going on. Like it's just handled with such a deft touch. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's not like more is left unsaid, which is nice when it yeah. comes to dialogue but yeah 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 it was just like these little things where like there's just scenes where things happen but then yet it builds their character it like it, it nothing happens back. without a reason yeah definitely which, and everything is linked back to something yeah. which is nice yeah and it builds that character and it's just like you discover them that this part of their character you didn't know like sure Harrison's a dad but during that tuck-in scene, I felt like you really understood like he's a really loving father and mm -hmm. just really cares about his kids. Yeah. See, that's the sign of a good writer, a good screenwriter. Like he's he's written a script where like there isn't that much dialogue, mm -hmm. there aren't that many scenes with the characters, but there's enough to show. Yeah. Like there's no unnecessary yes. unnecessary yeah. bits. Yeah, like, it's I enough to show exactly what you need definitely. to understand the character. Yeah. Like like we're talking about how probably Dinklage's character is probably the most unnecessary. It's probably the weakest. Yeah. But I feel like it brings that level of normal life to her because like her entire arc is pretty intense, like everything she goes through. But he's sort of that. Oh, if you know, if you're a normal housewife, you probably would try to hook up again. And I wasn't expecting the story to affect so many characters, but it makes sense. It's in a small town true, in yeah. like rural America. Like yeah. it's gonna naturally an event like that's gonna spin out and yeah. affect multiple characters. And I think there was like. A lot of chances for this movie to just yeah, like you're saying spin out like definitely the like her son I feel like yeah. that he could have totally been a viable character where they could have focused on his like bullying yeah. or like oh what's wrong yeah. with your mom but then they didn't really do that they just every time he goes to school it's literally the door and that's it yeah because again with son all you needed is those few scenes where he like shows a little bit of emotion yeah. or reacts to something and like you get you can infer mm -hmm. what the character is going through, yes. what he's thinking, rather than showing all these extra scenes yeah. that, that you don't need. But yeah. yeah, like you're saying how everything was bleak, but there was still a lot of hope. Yeah. I mean, even with the dad, like he's like a wife beater, but when he came in, it was like that emotions and drama. Like these, these are real, like like husband and wife. They went through so much. And the character, well, the the one scene with him and. Her in the kitchen, yeah, right? Absolutely. Like, I mean, he flipped the table. Like, he freaks out. He gets violent. He almost comes to to hit her again. Yeah. And you can see, like, she's afraid. Yeah. But then, like, two seconds later, they're sitting down at the same table across from each yeah. other, and holding she's hands. like holding his hand. Yeah. 
it's just like it's it's realistic yeah Which it's is realistic because yeah. these people are brought together by this tragedy but mm -hmm. um, and even you know the words she has for him later on in, yeah, the, yeah. in the film where she's kind of like learn from your mistakes right, right, yeah. and so you can kind of get a sense from what happens with other characters mm -hmm. that he will learn from his mistakes yeah. so yeah so yeah definitely another great movie another great mcdonough film three features and a short film yeah and all of them have been acclaimed but seriously so, like you haven't seen any of this stuff watch it i mean if you haven't seen it in bruges yeah, I should see that. This is that's that's like playful compared to this movie. Yeah. <laughs> this movie's way more hard hitting. Yeah. It's like lobster in the sacred feeling. Yes. Anyways, really enjoyed it, recommend it, and totally hope like she gets more stuff to do. Yeah. Or maybe at least like might maybe she'll get more supporting, but then like more lines. Because I feel like she can totally be I don't know. She can she can do any like she has a pretty she has older a pretty older person type of like she has a pretty good range. For yeah, so she can pretty much do anything, really. So yeah, good job, team. Great stuff. Can't wait for this next thing, whenever that is. Look forward to it. Go check it out. That's it. This is the before and after for three billboards in... Outside of Missouri. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs>